So we finished stacking all of our frames to make their masters. So we have our 12 uh, red files stacked have produced this red master file. Blue is 24 frames because obviously the second data set has more in it. 12 in the green, 24 in the luminance. So these are now clean stacked masters. So they've obviously had all the calibration done and they've been stacked together to produce these. So now our next step here is like we did with, uh, oh, let's say the 24 luminance frames when we stacked them, we have to align them together or register them together uh, using star align so that everything matches afterwards. Well, the same goes again here. Now we have four separate Im images again, which we need to make line up. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use a process again, which we've already used uh, in registration, which is star alignment. Uh, we'll just clear this. Okay. We're gonna use the luminance as the um, reference frame. So it will align the red, green, and blue to the luminance. Um, the luminance generally, I always tend to use because they just, I don't know, it just tends to be cleaner and it's easier to do. So you can do this one or two ways. You can use the views or you can use files. We're just going to use views as it's open. So we'll select it. We'll select the luminance master. Okay. With that selected. Um, you can regenerate drizzle here. Uh, I don't because these have already been uh, integrated with drizzle, so I don't bother doing it again. Um, so that we can add the files. Oops, sorry, add the views which are here. Just select them all. Okay, doesn't matter about the order. Output images. So then you select the folder that you want it to go into which will populate there. Um, I have never had any need to change any of these star detection settings or star matching. I found that it just works. So like before I never touched them and I'm not going to do it again now. So I would just globally apply this, just click this and it will bring up the console and it will start going through and it will stack this, this and this to this. And our next step will be cropping the images. So we've got our four files that have been aligned. So we've got the red, the green, the blue. They've been star aligned to the luminance. So what we're going to do now is crop out some of this image. Now where we've aligned these, especially the blue one which I can see straight away, If you look at the actual frame, it's been rotated clockwise very slightly to align all the information. Now the downside to that is where there was no information is now just black. So we have black borders. So what we're going to do to get rid of this, we're going to use dynamic crop, which is a dynamic process. It allows us to crop an image like so, just going to use this as an example. So that's what we want to crop. We're going to create a new instance of that crop. And now we're going to execute it. So by executing it, it crops this image. Now that crop has been saved in this process here. So what I can do now is if I close dynamic crop and now we take a look at these images you can see the geometry of this image after the crop has changed so it's 5391 4272 the green is its original size so are these so are these so are these okay so now in order to 
make this one the same, we want to drag this process onto it, like that. So the crop we did on the blue has now been transferred to the green. And you can see 5391, 4272 geometries are good. So that's that one done. We can then do the same with the red. And the same with the luminance. So now they've they've all had their black edges removed because we took the worst one and cropped the rest to it and the geometries are the same. 5391, 4272. Same, same, same. Now that is very important that the geometries are the same. Uh, in the next step we're going to be looking at the individual frames and as you can see here, if I just boost these images, the luminance isn't too bad, but there is still a gradient here. And there's a more noticeable one in the green and in the red. And then obviously this nasty gradient in the blue. And now we're going to use the next process to get rid of it.